Okay, kids, Ham and Cheese back here with you again today. And up on the bench today is the U-Kits TJ-5A HF transceiver. Uh, we're going to do a short review of this and then a demonstration. And the reason why we're doing this today is this radio has very little documentation to it and even less real-world application and demonstration to it. There's a few channels on YouTube that are quite old, I think the newest one I found is from about six years ago. And the reason we're doing it, not because there's not enough of it, it's because we're hoping to learn more about it today. Um, now that we're into the algorithms here, and we're far enough into this channel that we're starting to get into the mainstream more, I'm hoping somebody will pick this up that will be able to tell me more about these and be able to help me and in turn help you grow and become better operators of this radio, especially if you have one of these, okay? Like I said, they're very little document to them. There's a UKITS group on Facebook. It's not active. Like I said, there's only a small handful of channels on YouTube here that have them. They're not very active, and so on and so forth. So let's talk about this radio for a moment, and then we'll get into the demonstration after that. Okay, so as I mentioned, this is a TJ5A from a company called U-Kits. They're based out of Canada. They're actually made by a Chinese-Canadian man, but I don't have his name at the moment, so I apologize. Um, this radio will do 2.5 megahertz to 29.99 megahertz receive, and it will transmit on 40, 20, 17, and 15 meters, both upper and lower sideband and CW as well, Okay. So it won't do 80 meters, it won't do 160, it won't do 10 meters or any of that stuff. Um, the A, B, these are channels we'll get into and we'll talk about that. VFO memory mode, memory channels, and the different modes for CW upper lower sideband. Microphone slot on the front of this one. And this is an indicator of what version this is as well. Headphone connector here for the pH, that's what that is. We have a RIC clarifier. We have our power mode here, one to 20 watts, and our on off switch for power as well, which we'll demonstrate here in a minute. And then of course the big knob, you can hear the clicking there. This is where we get all of our information from. We can change it, we can tune, we can do steps. It goes from one kilohertz to one megahertz incremental steps, so on and so forth. And this is another indicator of what version this is. The older versions have a silver style knob and have like a little grip on them. This one's just a clean, it's got a little bit of a knurling on it, but it's all black plastic finish. If we take a look at the side here, we have three ways we can charge this. The first being this PCB port right here. This is 12 volt in or out, or just 12 volt in rather. Um, that's a five millimeter spacing for those of you who are interested. This says charge, but we can also power through it as well with just a simple barrel connector, which is what we're going to demonstrate with. And then also we're going to take a look in the inside of the battery slot as well. Okay. Now, another way we can tell what version of the radio this is, is right here. This has a USB port on it. This USB port exists for two reasons. The first being firmware upgrades and the second being the ability to do digital modes. But because the documentation is so limited on this, I haven't been able to quite figure out yet how to do that. So we're not gonna demonstrate digital on this. However, it can do it. Um, like I said, hopefully somebody out there in YouTube land will see it and be able to tell us some more. Nice top firing speaker on it. It's not real super loud, but it's plenty loud enough. It's quiet enough, though, at the same time, if you're trying to do parks on the air or something like that, you're not bothering the people around you. So let's go ahead and take a look at the inside. And you can see it's got a nice, sturdy, rugged metal case here. That doesn't come apart easily, and that's a good thing. And when we take a look on the inside, we can see that last charging port right here. And that's for an internal battery, which this does not have, which is something else I'm trying to find more information about as well. 
Um, okay, so these do have optional filters. This one does not. The optional filter would be located right here if it did. And it does have a switch in here. This is all part of the setup and hardware and some other stuff. If we take a look here at this switch, this is where we can do some various things with setup and changing of certain things. And that's also for the firmware upgrade as well. We have our main board. We have our PA unit on the back end, our final, and some other various steps and ranges that we go through as well. So that, in a nutshell, is the review of the TJ5A. Like I said, it's a nice, sturdy little rig and doesn't break the bank. Let's go ahead next and take a look at the demonstration of it. Okay, kids, so we have the TJ5A up and running here. We're going to walk through some of the modes and steps of it here. Right now, we have it currently at 10 megahertz because it is dark in ham and cheese land. 40 meters isn't working so hot tonight, and 20 is about on the backside and done. However, stick around for the next portion. We do have a 40 meter clip from earlier today that we were successful in making contact with the parks on the air station. So have a listen in, and you'll be able to hear what it sounds like back and forth. But real quick, let's go through this. We first have our modes. Right now we're in lower sideband because we're going to be listening to WWV here in a second. We go into upper side, CW, or the tuning ability. The AB switch is just simply VFOA, VFOB, VFO memory mode. We're in memory. Now we're back to VFO. And this memory button, if we press and hold it, it'll lock the channel in. And it's as simple as that. Our volume control, we'll listen for a second. We're going to hear all the noise from the lights. Okay. We have our RIT clarifier. Nothing special there for this purpose. And, of course, we have our main tuning switch. Right now we're at 100 hertz, and I'll explain why in just a second. And we can go 1 kilohertz, 10 kilohertz, 100 kilohertz. 1 meg, and then back to 10 and 100 hertz. The reason why we're at 100 hertz right now is because when these first fire up, they are a little bit off frequency. This particular one's about 300 hertz off. But as it sits and it stabilizes, it will come right into frequency. So we're going to go ahead and get into this in just a second. Listen to some WWV. But before we do, like I said, if you happen to have one of these or you know somebody who does, or you are pretty familiar with this rig, please leave something down in the comments, because, like I said, I just don't know enough about it. There's not enough documentation out there on it, and there's even less people that are actively using them. I'd like to learn more about it, and I'd like to learn to do some digital stuff with it especially, and I'm sure there's probably a firmware upgrade for this somewhere that I haven't done yet. So, there it is the TJ5A in a nutshell. So we're going to listen to a, a touch of noise here. We're going to go into some WWV. And then right after that, we're going to have a clip of our Perks on the Air 40 meter contact from earlier today. So there it is, kids. 7-3 and enjoy. Thanks for hunting me down at 7-3.
Uh, Kilo, Charlie 3, November, Hotel Echo. Yeah, Kilo, Charlie 3, station express, please. Yeah, roger, roger. Kilo, Charlie 3, November, Hotel Echo. QSL to 5x5 Pennsylvania, you're about a 5x7, and I'm coming at you at 20 watts with a UKITS TJ5A, QSL? QSL, yep, uh, I'm running 20 watts here myself, 20 watts here. Yeah, roger, roger, my friend, thanks for picking it up here just at the very end, and uh, if you're interested, we're going to use this for a video on YouTube, look for ham and cheese on YouTube, my friend. So I'm going to uh, bounce over, maybe up to 20 meters, uh, if I feel like it here. So thanks for letting me down here in 7-3. 7-3, my friend. And again, thanks for the call. Good luck. Yeah, thanks very much. Yeah. 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 Yeah.